that is level 99 prayer on the iron. I believe that's my 15th 99. Thanks everyone for the grasses and for coming to the party. Thank you, X Kruger, for the two months. I appreciate it. That's so cool. No. Why? <laughs> Why? Oh, I got a sigil. Oh my god. Okay, it's not an arcane. It's not an arcane, but um, that is a sigil that will possibly, possibly work for Solo Beastmaster. Everything we've done up to this point has built up to this episode. It's time for us to finally take a crack at soloing Beastmaster on our Iron Man. This is something that has been done by a few people, including myself, on main accounts, with things like Acto and the Blessed Flask. But to my knowledge, I will be the first Iron Man account to ever complete this. This is really what this series was all about, and it's time for our first great challenge. Let's break down the fight. There are really three primary parts. There's the Eret Horde at the beginning, which is actually extremely difficult. It's the second most challenging part of the fight, where you have to deal with the entire Eret Horde, as well as the pet Quarms. It's not objectively difficult, and if I had access to Corruption Blast, it would be a piece of cake, but being able to do that without using too many supplies has proven exceptionally difficult, and it's going to take a ton of practice to get that part down. Once you've made it through the Eret Horde, it's time to deal with Corms. We're going to finish him off very quickly and then grab the first pet. It will either be Tuz or Krar. In a perfect scenario, we end up getting Tuz first, but either way, we're going to get that pet to low HP, and then that will be the entrance to the second part of the boss fight. As soon as that pet is low HP, we're going to use Entangle on it and then aggro Beastmaster. Once Beastmaster's aggroed, all the chargers will leave their cages, and we are going to surge across the room as quickly as possible. If done correctly, the pet that we've just lowered will lose sight of us and will not be able to find us until we run back to that part of the arena. The second part of the boss fight is tanking Beastmaster while lowering down the second pet. As soon as the second pet dies and Beastmaster becomes enraged, we need to quickly finish off the first pet, and then we enter the running phase. This is by far the most difficult part of the boss fight. Beastmaster can hit over 10,000 damage through prayer at this point of the fight, and we are going to have to lower him all the way from well over a million life points to zero. We're going to be using saltwater ogre flasks to be able to run forever, and this running phase could take upwards of 40 minutes. If I make a mistake at any point or I run out of supplies, it's right back to the beginning and we've got to try again. Welcome to Solo Beastmaster. We are in fact copying the iron gear and perks exactly on the main and then we're going to spend the entire day throwing ourselves at solo beastmaster figuring out the best strategies for every single aspect of it how did that happen help oh ah! okay that's rude that's actually rude signing from the grave okay next pet's out where he's stuck in that corner I'm just really confused. Awful is, is the word I'm looking for. That feels awful. Oh, Jesus. All righty, chat. Let's go. Chat, this is the one. Why is it the one? Because I said so. I've made the decision. So the trick here, the way I'm healing is I'm basically just stunning the pet. That's it. That's the whole method. It's noom time! Done! Solo Beastmaster! On my main account, in the exact gear that I have on my solo only account. That took over 60 minutes. Who won bingo? Cash is winning right now. I'm still gonna be working on it, but uh, I need to start working on the solo because our video backlog is starting to diminish a little bit. Episodes one and two are out. Episodes three and four are done. There's no clips recorded for episode five. Um, Pippin's good. He spent eight hours outside today, so he's kind of exhausted. But yeah, no, he's really good. He's doing great. He's having a lot of fun. So, so in here would be Luca. How? Right? They're like right, right up there. 
This is me. There's a decided tier above. There's a group of PVMers that are god gaming above my level, decidedly. We're gonna put 2018 me, because I've gotten better, right? And then this was when I was like a full on Revo and didn't know anything about bosses. So that's 2016 me, because I couldn't solo next. And then this right at the bottom is. People who buy gold warden. Bonus if they brag about it on Twitter. Will we get it? We're looking for a precise six aftershock one. We've got a very good chance of getting it. It is a one in 1.6 or a 59.5% chance. It is more likely than not that we get it. Are we gonna get it here in three? In two, in one. What? What? All right. I set this up so long ago that I have I have no idea what's in store for us. Okay, that's nothing. Cool. Nothing. Yeah. Okay. I. Yeah. I honestly think I need more than three hundred and fifty super brews. Like that probably won't be enough to get ourselves a codex. Watch for your first 90, tier 92. Um, pick your favorite combat style. If it's melee, I would probably get the Master Spear of Annihilation. If it's ranged, I would get the Saren God Bow. And then if it's mage, I would take that money and buy Ascensions or something so that you can use range. Throw Absorbative 4 on the Ellie. And now we've got a completely perked Ellie for Solo Beastmaster. We are going to put a Staff of Light into the yes, finality. This is absolutely vital for Solo Beastmaster. Oh, oh Jesus! What the hell is that? Oh God! Oh God, Ziliana, what the hell was that? Boy. This is what I mean about Rex Matriarchs though. A hard mode Ziliana is unironically a more difficult boss and it was and it requires abilities. Wait, were there horns? Oh God, give it to me. I need these, I need these, I need these. That's the only reason I'm here. Okay. Strategically, right there. 52 horns. Let's go, dude. Okay, we're big chilling. Is it true they have bagged milk? Yeah, and it actually makes sense. Bagged milk is a good thing. One moment. Welcome to bagged milk. Here's how it works. So. In Canada, if you want milk, you go to the grocery store. Is that a dog on the bed? Okay, maybe she just called you a dog. Or not. No. Inside of this bag of milk, you have <laughs> this bag of milk. A bag within a bag of milk, okay? Then you're thinking, how do you get the milk out of the bag, right? It's a it's a big question. How would you do it? Well, the milk receptacle is a plastic receptacle <laughs> for the bag. And then, and then, and then, when you want a glass of milk, you pour it out of the bag into the cup. What were we doing again? I did drink the potion. Chat, we, we really need this perk. If I don't get this perk, we're kind of sewered and I'm not gonna be a happy camper. Three, in two, in one. Yes, let's go! Okay, good. Thank God. Okay, that's good. That's very, very good. Um, just for just for just for clarity for people who if they don't know. Um, Luca is one of the best heroes in the game, and he's really good at stuff like this. Solo Beastmaster, Solo Yaka, Solo Eudi. Soloing things that aren't really meant to be soloed. So, um, he's been kind of watching the whole way as I've been prepping for Solo Beastmaster on the Iron Man. The one phase of the fight that I am especially bad at is the running phase, which is the very final, like, million-ish life points of the boss fight. So, he's gonna help me out here. We're gonna duo up to that point, and then he's just gonna watch me run and give me feedback as we do it. So, that's kind of the rundown there, just in case you were wondering.
Okay. So the final question for you that I have, Luca. Okay. I mean, I have like Shoot. a lot of questions, but the, okay, the most you important know, one, the most important question. Okay. Do you think with the knowledge that I now possess, that with the setup that I have my Iron Man, I will be able to solo Beastmaster? Yes. Hey. <sighs> okay. Christ! I don't know what the hell is going on. Okay. Well. Whoa! Why did the chargers jump? Ju Wait. Okay, I just froze the chargers. I can Cade soon, too. <laughs> My dead house flashed on every single one. Oh, no. Yeah, I think that's the tough part here is we have to stay on top of the spawns, and if we can't, we're gonna die, like, immediately. Yeah, we've successfully completed the Earth Horde. I have used four brews. I'd like to get it down to, like, two or three, but I think with four, the Beastmaster solo should be completable. Okay, so the good news is I'm back, for now. The bad news is there's an actual chance that my computer is just dying. I'm gonna die here. That's so unfortunate. Anyway, a lot of RNG in this boss fight, but so far, this is looking good. And wish me luck, everyone. I my, can see my heart rate going up and stuff. It's stressful, man. <gasps> Bro! The Chargers save my res. Okay. That's a new PB. That's a new PB. Ah, uh, that's a little frustrating. That's okay. Honestly, that's okay. Like, I signed not during the run part. I signed early. That's fine. The Chargers can do that. It's kind of an RNG thing. I didn't see the guy. This is completable. 100% this is completable. Lock it in. We're going to get this. Like, we're literally going to get this. And yeah, welcome to day two, I guess. Yeah, I don't know if my stack management has been great so far, but it's okay. I'm doing fine, I think. No. My buff bar's bugged! I can't see my stacks! Jackx, please, it's hard enough being able to see my stacks. That is a beast master solo on a solo only Iron Man account! No corruption blast, the Elder Wand, no Acto, done! Told you guys it was possible. All right, this is our big moment. Do we have to do this again? Here we go. In three, in two, in one. Okay. That is not a codex. That's okay. We've got to reroll. We've got to reroll for this chat. All right. Please. I'm so stressed. Go. No! If we can do it once. We can do it again. <sighs> I don't even think I've got enough supplies. I think I used literally every supply I had for that. All right. Let's go solo BM again. I'll go for it anyway, but I don't feel good about this at all. I'm just letting you guys know ahead of time. Two in a row. Two Beastmaster solos in a row. I have not signed in three hours of BM solos. Let's freaking go, dude. Okay. If I get Acto, we cry because it's useless. If we get a Codex, we pog. I'm like, I'm not out of breath because that would be like, that would be, you know, not a great sign. But I am, I am proper exhausted from that. That takes so much out of you running for that amount of time. We got it done. I'm getting ready in three, in two, in one. Okay. In three. In two, in one, please. But for today, I have a super important mission. Here's what we're doing on the account. We're not soloing BM today because I actually want to be able to read chat and hang out with you guys. Um, obviously, that's super important. Um, 
I want Beak Snot because Beak Snot is really, really hype. Beak Snot's great. Um, it lets you make Power Burst of Sorcery that gives you extra runes for your presence. So, seems very worth. To get Beak Snot, I need to go big game hunt the Spaghetti Monster. The Spaghetti Apoterosaur. And the Arcane one, actually, too. So, that's what we're gonna go do now. We're gonna try and get some BGH eggs. Oh, God! Wait! Oh, no! No! Wait! <laughs> I thought it would have been like a, a spot that just made sense. Okay. Borscht is traditionally served cold as sour cream. Yeah, so anyway, basically what I'm trying to say is my favorite soup is cinnamon toast crunch. That's kind of, kind of what I'm getting at here. At cash that, go for a swim. Does cash swim? He wears socks and shoes in the house. I feel like that makes him unlikely to be someone who swims. Like, I'm sure he can swim, but I don't see that as like a pastime of his. I wear clothes in the pool. Yeah, this is... Did I win? Oh! Dragonmatic number two coming in on the account. I added to tool belt. I will take it. That's not actually what we were here for, but I'm still happy to have one. It does kind of look like Windex. I'll give you that. Like, delicious. Um, but oh, I actually did grab food though. Burger! Because I felt like that was the right thing to do. All right, you're built, you're built, you're built, sweet. Uh, no, no, oh my God. <laughs> okay. I don't think I went to high school with a tanner kind of gutted about it now and I'll come through eventually my familiar just died oh my god wait Heck. oh my god don't die please are you okay did I save that I think I saved it I think I saved it yeah we're good Okay, I'm about to perform what could be considered an epic gamer move. Also, chat, if you care about prayer XP, look away. Anyway. You know, I want Coach to put that in the video. Just to just to keep the YouTube people on their toes a little bit. Milo. And he's gonna give us 40 beaks not. Which is actually amazing. Now, we kind of need a breeding pair so we can just get as much as we need. But that's the first beak snot on the account that's super, super helpful. Because that's for extreme cooking potions and it's also for um, power bursts of sorcery. Which are extremely good. So, technically, we can get started on runecrafting now. Yeah, wrong pet. Okay. Don't reset my incense! Every- Dude, that's the worst part about this whole fight. Is- <laughs> Cool. I was unlucky. I think I've only used like 10 food or so. That's really, really good. Yeah, we've done this super well. It's good. It's a good start, team. Good start. Alrighty. That was by far the best BM solo we've done. I only used 22 unicorn scrolls there for that entire kill. That was that was ridiculously good. Okay. Well, wish me luck. Please? Okay. Loot one, nothing. Does the reroll pay off? Do we get anything good here? Go. <laughs> oh, that's actually awful. That's really unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. But, uh... Hey, at least we know we can do it, right? 